morning, good morning. This is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens, and you're watching our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. Thanks for stopping by. This morning we're taking a ride out to Tim's house. Tim is a longtime subscriber to our channel, and Tim started his own pond here in Michigan. And I think he's got the wetland started. <laughs> uh, I, I giggle because uh, my memory is horrible. But he has sent us pictures of his wetland, his stream, and now he needs some help on how to design his pond. So we're heading up there this morning and we're going to give him some advice and give him some ideas, check out the work that he's already done, and let's see what we find out when we get there. Let's go. So we're up here in Owasso, Michigan. Uh, Tim, the homeowner, is going to come out in a couple minutes. But let me show you a little bit about what he's got going on in this backyard. He's already got a, a koi pond here. He's got about 4,000 gallons with a bubbling rock. Now this is a separate pump that he's got on this bubbling rock, about 2,000 gallons. And then 4,000 gallons just kind of recirculates it. He just got all this up and running today. So that way when I come up here I can take a look at it. But him and his son built a wetland filter up on top, a stream, and then a slow moving brook right here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open this up and coming back into here, we're going to open this up. We're going to connect that brook into a large pond that comes right in through here, maybe with a destination rock and then go back right over and through there around we're gonna eliminate his existing pool here give the fish a lot of room to swim around give them some hiding spots fish caves and then come back right around where the penguins are and back into their sitting area here up against the house perfect area you can see right out these windows on the back of the house when you enter from the back door boom what a nice spot Come on, Angie. What do you think? We can build you a pond, huh? She's Good such job. a, she's such a sweetie. That's a little bit of the rundown on this project. Now, I'm going to turn the camera around to the homeowner Tim, and I want him to kind of give his thoughts on what his backyard is going to look like. My, hello. How's it going? Pretty good. How how you going? Okay. I was thinking to have in these where they stay wet and I put a so a, bubbling rocks bubbling rocks and uh, have it over like to the right where the penguins are they're cored out I have a dozen of them cored out I, I've already been into the project a lot this is a distributor that I want to use for all my bubbling rocks there's 12 and I I'm gonna let Dan do whatever Dan does right here I got 60 foot of stream and a wetland in back or a bog and huh sounds like Tim's done and he wants to hand over the reins to somebody else right to now. an artist <laughs> you flatter us you flatter us Tim yes but that's kind of the ideal is just to have something right here I don't know uh, 25 foot it's a little big, so it's probably 20 by, by 25, probably 25 this way and 24 this way. And it's all you. I, I built the, the creek, the Valley Brook Creek and stream in thirds. And now Dan's going to do the pond. So what we're going to do is we've got roughly a 20, 22 foot long pond here by 18 feet here. On this back corner, because of prevailing winds coming out of the west over here, coming this way, we're going to actually do an intake bay here that's going to be recessed down and then have a little bit of a waterfall so it'll be a negative edge that skims the pond. Just like this video that I'm, 
I'm going to link to right here and there will also be a link in our description. So that's going to house the pumps down below. All these boards and everything will be gone and then access to the pumps will be from a pump vault. Now he's got electricity right over here in the house and there's also a drain underneath the addition of the house so that's where our overflow will end up going to. It goes right into a city drain. So it'll be a nice interesting project up here in Owasso, Michigan. I want you to stay tuned for the progress on this later on in the season and let's make some magic. You guys enjoy your day, make it a great one. So we've got a three foot depth in a majority of the pond. Over here, this shelf here is gonna be a lily shelf. So we'll have three, four lilies in this area. Now again, over on this side of the pond, adjacent from the window or across from the window, we're going to do is fountains, uh, bubbling rocks, with the uh, with the big manifold, and we'll see if we can work in the penguins. <laughs> what do you think, Angie? What do you think? Are you gonna go swimming? Good girl. Good girl. Well, that was one interesting meeting, to say the least. Tim is a great guy, and you know what? I'm gonna be super excited to be working on that project. I'm going to work up some numbers for them and we'll see how this one flies. We thank you for watching our video today and stay tuned for our next one next weekend. Thanks for watching. Make it a great day.